I'd like to apologize for all the piano teachers who've ever tried to teach me good piano playing for that. My apologies. <laughs> My name is Jeremy Siskin. I'm a jazz pianist and the author of the book Jazz Piano Fundamentals. And today I'm coming to you from Tone Bass's headquarters in Pasadena, California, and I'm going to show you how to jazzify a classical piece in five easy steps. We're going to be using Chopin's famous Nocturne, Opus 9, Number 2, as our example. So let's get started. Step one is that we're going to reduce this piece to a lead sheet form. So I'm going to look at Chopin's music, and instead of thinking, you know, all this beautiful stuff, I'm going to figure out what chords he's using, and I'm going to write them in as chord symbols. So we'll start. This is E flat major. The second beat is a little trickier. It's, it's like B diminished over E flat. I'm sure some classical theorists are going to have a problem with that diminished chord naming, but I don't care. I'm a jazz pianist. Beat three. Back to E flat major. Beat four, E flat major with D in the bass. And then starting in the next measure, we have a C dominant for two beats. We have another diminished chord over a different bass note. And then we go to F minor. So I'm going to actually write that in because what I'm going to do next is step two, which is to create jazz chords, adding extensions and alterations out of the chords that you've written. So Chopin just uses the triad. Chopin uses a lot of beautiful harmonies, but this is pretty basic. And what we want to do is we want to now probably add a seventh, maybe a ninth, maybe a thirteenth. So now instead of this boring, sorry Chopin, now we'll have this much more lush, jazz appropriate chord. So we'll go through, we'll add these extensions. As I get to this C dominant in bar two, with dominant chords, we don't just add extensions, we can also add alterations. So maybe I'm gonna put some juicy alterations in there, maybe a flat nine and a sharp nine. Maybe a sharp 11 and F sharp in there. And it's actually kind of cool because Chopin actually, he uses that flat nine in the little ornament. So I'm gonna make each of these chords richer by adding more and more notes. Okay, it's already starting to sound like jazz a little bit, but what we need next is step three, which is to experiment with some different kind of rhythmic styles. So what style do we wanna play the Chopin Nocturne in? Maybe we wanna play it as a bossa nova, let's try. want to play it as stride piano. I don't know if this is going to work, but maybe we could play it as boogie woogie. to apologize for all the piano teachers who've ever tried to teach me good piano playing for that. My apologies. But maybe since this already kind of has these groups of three, maybe we could put it in like a jazz waltz style. And actually, that's where I landed um, when I was trying to make my own jazz version of this piece. So it might sound like this. So I personally like that because it's got a little bit of swing to it. It feels like jazz, but there's no right or wrong answers. You figure out the style that works for you. That brings us to step four, which is to figure out a form. Now, one of the tricky parts about playing a classical piece in a jazz style is that in jazz, we like shorter forms because we repeat the forms a lot for improvisation. So if I were to read all the way through this nocturne, even though it's a relatively short piece, it's probably going to be a little bit too long to really want to improvise on. So I'm gonna cram it into a popular jazz form. In jazz, we have a form called AABA. I'd say about 30 or 40% of jazz tunes that we play are in AABA form. So I'm gonna call this the A section. And I'm 
going to call this the B section. And then we'll go back to the A section. This is A-A-B-A. -A -A. We're going to play the A section at the end, of course. Okay, so we're going to make a nice short form A-A-B-A -A -A so that we can play through the melody, or our version of the melody, and then get to step five, which is to actually improvise. And when we improvise, of course, what we do is we're going to repeat the chords. So we're going to look at just the chord part of the lead sheet, and we're going to create our own melody. Now, in five easy steps, we've managed to jazzify this Chopin Nocturne. video, smash that like and subscribe button. And consider subscribing to Tone Bass Piano, where you'll find my course that goes much more in depth with these jazz concepts and a lot more. If you'd like to hear the entire performance of the Chopin Nocturne as a jazz waltz, you can find that on my YouTube channel. And I'd also encourage you to check out my book, Jazz Piano Fundamentals, and Playing Solo Jazz Piano. Thanks so much. Have a great day.